The St. Augustine Wild Reserve is a non-profit, non-breeding rescue center that provides homes for unwanted exotic animals. Deborah Warwick, the founder of the reserve, and her volunteers have so far rescued a total of 70 animals, ranging from lions and tigers to wolves, snakes, and lemurs. In 1981, Deborah Warwick created the Soul of the Wolves in California, which was a center built to rescue wolves. In 2000, the location was moved to St. Augustine to become the St. Augustine Wild Reserve, which has grown to house a lot more than just wolves. The animals at the St. Augustine Wild Reserve have been rescued not only from neighborhoods, but from all sorts of locations. Five Arctic wolves in the African lion Mufasa were rescued from Michael Jackson, who wanted to remove them from his ranch near Santa Barbara. In addition, many of the reserve's animals were liberated from wildlife agencies without proper state permits, or who starved the animals and made them live under inferior conditions. Onyx is one of the black leopards living at the reserve. He has survived bone cancer but lost a leg in the process. He became somewhat famous when he appeared on Ripley's Believe It or Not TV show as the world's most unbelievable animal. Now, this is Mufasa, he's, this, he's being uncooperative now, but he is an African lion, he weighs about 600 pounds, and I got him from a breeder in Kansas when he was three months old. Uh, the breeder was trying to sell him into the pet market and could not find a home for him, and he was scheduled for euthanasia because he couldn't find a home, and I decided to take him, so I paid for the shipping and got him flown out to California where my compound was and so I've raised him since that time which was 1995. So he went from a three month old 35 pound kitty into the beautiful African lion that you see behind us weighing at about 600 pounds. The St. Augustine Wild Reserve is an institution that is dependent solely on donations and the generosity of others. Currently, the reserve feeds the animals 1,000 pounds of meat a week, 20 to 30 pounds of fruits and vegetables a day, 50 pounds of kibble, chicken feed, and canned cat food for the smaller cats. Also, the reserve has 45 cages which provide homes for almost all 70 animals, except the birds and goats which wander to entertain the caged animals. By donating to the reserve, you would help pay for the animals' food, equipment to keep the animals healthy and happy, and hopefully new cages for new rescued animals. You can find information on how to donate by going to www.staugustinewildreserve.org. Or you can come for a tour of the reserve, offered once or twice weekly by appointment only, which includes a $20 donation per person. You can also help by donating your used cell phones and ink cartridges. Your cell phones may be recyclable in accordance to EPA regulations or renovated and sold. All proceeds would help fund the St. Augustine Wild Reserve. The best way to donate a phone or ink cartridge is by mailing them to P.O. Box 3546, St. Augustine, Florida 32085. And finally, you can look for fundraisers within your own community. JCP Cares of the Julington Creek Plantation had a wet and wild day on June 21, 2008, in which they raised $1,000 for the reserve. In addition, the Casa Monica Hotel hosts the St. Augustine Reserve's annual fundraiser and silent auction in October. Tickets must be purchased in advance. You can find more information on our website. The tours at the St. Augustine Wild Reserve are done by experienced wildlife professionals who have grown very close to the animals. They take you around the compound during the animals' feeding time so you can hear them growl and watch as they pounce on their food. To schedule a tour at the St. Augustine Wild Reserve, call 904 940 0664 or send an email to chuff at aol.com. Try to make the reservation as far in advance as possible. The required $20 donation will go towards the care of the animals at the reserve. No video is allowed, but make sure you bring your camera for this up-close experience. Concho is a three-year-old white-nosed karate. Deb has raised her from she was about this big, two weeks of age. In the wild, this sweet little animal would be living in a family group of up to 20 and they would mutually uh, groom. She doesn't have a family out here, so she expects us to do it for her. Yes, sweet thing. So she is a very, very sweet thing, indigenous to the southwestern United States, into Mexico, Central America, and South America. Member of the raccoon family. St. Augustine Wild Reserve is a seven-acre nonprofit organization built to care for rescued exotic animals. 
As independent as it may seem, the care and protection of these animals wouldn't be possible without the help of you and your neighbors. One of the best things you can do for the reserve is to tell people about it and spread the word. The more people that know about the reserve, the more donations we receive and the more tours we give. Your help would be greatly appreciated. We and the animals hope to see you real soon. Thank you.